Hello everybody, it's uh, Steve Katsikara, Snorlin, Kobaconk, Watchdog. I'm just uh, preparing a, uh, a package here for the Ontario Judicial Council down in Toronto. I just written up uh, two more judge or JPs, or Justice of the Peace. Um, one, uh, they're both from Lindsay. No, one's from Lindsay, one's from Oshawa. So I got the Lindsay Courthouse, Judge uh, Justice of the Peace, Preston, who made a, quite the... <laughs> performance in his courtroom the other day there on September 5th, 2019. And also Justice M. Hewitt of the Oshawa Courthouse. I'm accusing you of being involved in political hostage taking, criminal conspiracy, and also now an accessory to assault on myself on August 25th, 2019. And now under the criminal code I'm accusing you of, section, of number 21, uh, party to offenses and also counseling to the offense with aiding and abetting. And that goes for Constable's teacher and also Phillips of the OPP who didn't do their duty that day. So I'm going to nail you guys also for all this plus the Police Services Act, which we're going to go through. So anyways, I'm just going to be putting this up on the internet to let people know that the Norland Kobaconk Watchdog is writing these guys up. These Justice of the Peace wannabe judges. I call them glorified uh, court schedulers. That's what I think they are. They don't even know the law. And when they do screw up, they even used the wrong form. I was taken into custody and they said I was charged for assault, but we can prove now that if I was charged for any crime, it would be a Form 10 with 266 in the right top-hand corner. I was taken into custody under a Form 32 under 706-707, which is what? A witness for a trial that doesn't exist. So that's how they play the games inside these courthouses in Lindsay and also at Oshawa. So I'm writing them up and I caught you under that right now. And I even got Justice of the Peace Preston saying it's a private, private application under 507.1 number 11 with the consent of the Attorney General. All right, so now I'm going to the head of state. That's the Governor General. And uh, there's a couple things here before I uh, carry on, let you guys know that you're hearing footsteps in the corner. I got the, uh, the first page of Bill C-3060 anti-terrorist laws where you're not allowed to do this. And um, it says right here, Whereas Canadians and the people everywhere are entitled to live their lives in peace and freedom and security. So here's the, here's the thing here. Oh, look at that. Queen Elizabeth II, chapter 41. So this is before you use the anti-terrorist laws. And the next one here that I got written down that you're in violation of, all you guys at the courthouses there, is uh, whereas the Parliament of Canada recognizing that terrorism is a matter of national concern that affects the security of the nation is committed to taking the comprehensive measures to protect. There it is there. Let's see if you can see it. Mm, I don't think you can see it on the camera. There it is there. It's kind of hard. It's kind of blurry. Anyways, to protect Canadians against terrorist activity while continue to respect and promote the values reflected in and the charters and the chart the rights and freedoms guaranteed by the Charter and Rights and Freedoms of Canada. So that means you can't bring community watchdogs in there and pull a private application and classify me as a terrorist. So anyways, I'm sending this to the Justice Council and also a copy of this is going to go to the head of state, uh, Julie Payette, the Governor General of Canada, who is the representative of who? Queen Elizabeth II, head of state. And that's where the Attorney General of Canada, Mr. Lamente, and also Jody Raybell Wilson and Peter McKay are all guilty of all this. It's going to go to your superior, which is the head of state now. You answer to her, not the other way around. And now you're in violation of C-36, page 1, which is uh, chapter 41, right here. Charter rights and freedoms need to be respected at all times to protect Canadians from terrorism. These laws are not to be used to go after innocent Canadian activists, politicians, or community watchdogs to help cover up what? Crime, municipal corruption here about illegal sewage systems. Anyways, I'm Steve Katsikarish, or Norling Kobaconk Watchdog. Uh, stay tuned for my next video. And, um, hey, who's, who's the next judge I'm going to write up next? Anyways, take care, everybody, and uh, so long.